Today I'm going to show you how to set up and use Samsung Pay so that you can make mobile payments pretty much everywhere with your Samsung phone. Let's get started. Hey everybody, welcome to Tech with Brett where I help tech work for you and I'm really excited to show you guys how to use and set up Samsung Pay. There are tons of features and tons of functionality that you can use with this application. Samsung Pay is supported on the Samsung Galaxy S6 all the way to the Note 9. I'll leave a list on screen. It is also available in 21 different markets. Now you can also use Samsung Pay with a Samsung wearable device. So if you have the Gear S2, the Gear S2 Sport, or the new Galaxy Watch, you can use the NFC, but if you have the Gear S3 Frontier or the Gear S3 Classic, you can actually use NFC or MST. So to get started, all you need to do is go into the Samsung Pay application. It should already be installed on your phone. If not, you can go to the Play Store. The second setting, you will need to sign in with your Samsung account. So I've already signed in with that on the phone, so it's already pulled that up. Then we just need to select Get Started. For the next step, you will need to add some sort of security, whether it's a biometric or a pin code so that it locks out the app so that nobody else will be able to get into the application. Now here it is asking me to register my iris for Samsung Pay. Now I've already set it up into the security of the phone. So all I would need to do is select iris and then there it registered my iris and then I can also add my fingerprint for a faster login and payment as well as adding a pin code in case it can't recognize my biometrics. So once you have done that, you're gonna go into the application here and it's asking if you wanna set Samsung Pay as your default payment service on your phone. There are some other options like you could use Android Pay, but here I'm gonna set this as my default app because that's what I always want to use. And then this pop-up asks if you want to replace Google Pay with Samsung Pay and yes, we want to replace it. But now we are in Samsung Pay. Now, if you've ever set up Samsung Pay before, it's already gonna show you some of your cards that you have right down here on the little row here. So then down here on the bottom in the wallet is all the different credit cards or debit cards that we have activated. So since this phone is new and I haven't activated these cards, I will need to call the bank or send a text or an email to get those registered. And if I want to add new cards, I would select the plus right here and then you can quickly go through and add a card. So there are a bunch of different options here. One, I can actually add my PayPal account. So if I wanted to pay from PayPal, I could do that through Samsung Pay. If I wanted to just add a regular card, I would select add card. It will then pull open the camera and then here you would take a picture of your card. So there I automatically found my number. So here I'm going to input my information and then it asks for the security code, your zip code, all that information. You will need to agree to the terms and conditions of Samsung Pay. And then here it is asking, how do we want to activate our bank card? So depending on the bank or the credit union you use, you may need to actually call the bank and say, I'm trying to activate Samsung Pay on my phone. And then they just need to verify it on their end. Here I can also open up the banking application here with this specific card and I can verify right within the banking app. Now that I have activated that card here, it's going to show that. And then up here in my notifications, it's actually showing that I received 500 Samsung rewards for activating a card. And then here it says that my card has been activated in Samsung Pay. So we can tap on there and it's going to pull open that card. So now if you wanted to add other types of cards that you have, we have the gift option. So here I have a few different gift cards to Dunkin' Donuts, to Domino's. If you wanted to add more that you had, you could come in here and you can load your gift cards. You could also buy more gift cards. And then here you have the membership card. So if I had like a gym membership, I can come in here, take a picture of my rewards card and add my membership number. So let me show you how that will work. If I go back here, go under memberships. Here you can see my cards. If I want to see my gym membership, I can just look right here. Or if I tap to use the card, it's gonna pop up my barcode right there on the top of the screen. So those are the different types of cards that you can add within the Samsung Pay wallet. And again, you can add all of these different types. You also have the option to turn on Visa Checkout. So if you've already linked your accounts to Visa Checkout, you can just come in here, turn that on, and it will add all your cards right within the application. So then down here at the bottom, we do have rewards. So this is where you can see your rewards and I can redeem my points. 
So here under the store, I can actually go and purchase different gift cards. So here I could get 15% off of a Domino's gift card. And then over here is where you have the deal. So it's going to actually look in your location and tell you what kind of deals you have available. So right here, I have a 2.5% cash back award from Walmart. So here I can just select earn cash wallet at Walmart and it would go through the steps of what you need to do to be able to activate that and redeem that deal. So then you will want to go up into the menu right here and go under settings and adjust a few different things. So first you can add your favorite cards so that when you are on the home screen, you just swipe up and it will show your favorite cards. It can show it on the lock screen, the home screen, or even when the screen is off. So here I can manage my favorite cards. Let's add that card, that USAA card to my favorites. And let's add my gym membership just so you guys can see how that works. And then I can go back here so then down here, I can choose what sort of biometrics I can verify my identity with, fingerprint, iris. I could also change my pin. And then there you have a few more settings. So now when you are on your home screen or when you are even on your lock screen, you'll notice this little bar at the bottom of the screen. So if I swipe up, that's gonna jump right into my favorite card that I just added. So it's also gonna show my VASA membership right here. If I wanted to show my VASA membership, I can click use card and they could scan that barcode right there. If I wanna go in and look at my memberships and deals, I can do that as well. But let's say we want to make a payment. Now you will need to verify a form of identity first and then you can make the payment on the terminal. So right now, if I hover this over a terminal, it won't do anything. But when the terminal says swipe your card, all you need to do is type in your pin or use your iris. So let's use my iris. So now it has verified my identity. It then is going to show this for about 15 seconds. And that's the amount of time you have to hover this over the terminal. So there are two places that you could use this are here on the terminal where you would have swiped your credit card or right here on the NFC terminal. Both of those places will work. So this uses NFC and a technology called MST. Now, after those 15 seconds are up, if it didn't recognize your payment card, it will stop sending that information and then it will just go back to the home screen. Now, this is very secure. It's only going to send that info within one inch of the phone. So nobody can just walk by and pull that information off your phone. It's actually using a tokenized system, just like a chip card. So then it has a new set of symbols that it sends every time it actually doesn't send your credit card information. So it is very secure, nothing to be worried about when using Samsung Pay. Now, the main thing you may need to be worried about is where it actually works. So Samsung has said that this will work at 90% of locations that you go to. There's actually only been one or two places that I've tried that it just did not activate. And that's because they had an older machine or just something was technically wrong or they didn't have the latest firmware or something. So always make sure you have a backup card with you, but it's super simple. You're just sitting there at the grocery store at the line, swipe up, there you have your card. You can choose whatever card you want, verify the payment and then hover over the terminal. So now let's go out and try this in a few different places to see if it actually works. So first I went to my local grocery store to pick up some chapstick. Here I'm just going to check it out go through the finish and pay, and then I'm gonna choose debit card. And then here on the terminal, you'll notice that this one has the NFC up here at the top, and then down here on the side, this is where it will use MST, or how a normal credit card would work. So here from the lock screen, I just swipe up, and there it pops up on my card. So I can use my pin, iris, or my fingerprint, and now it is ready to send that signal. So the first time doing this, you may need to move the phone around until you find that exact spot and where that signal actually is. Once you find that, it will beep, letting you know that it is processing the transaction. If using a debit card, you will need to enter your Samsung Pay pin, select no cash back, and it, there is my receipt with the one-handed payment. Pretty sweet, especially when you have another kid in the other arm or something, it makes it very handy to have. So the next place we're gonna check out is good old Walmart. I have tried here before and it has actually failed. So I thought today I would give it another go and see if I could have some success. Yeah. All right, so here we are. We are buying some gum today. Here I'm going to verify my fingerprint, hover over, and just like that, it 
recognize the phone, select no cash withdrawal, and it has been approved. And boom, two for two on Samsung Pay. Okay. I'll just take it. Thanks so much. Once you make a payment, you will notice that in your notification bar up here, you do see that that payment has been processed right here. So you can tap on it, it will take you into Samsung Pay, and it will give you more information. It will actually show you your recent transactions with that certain card. So here we can see the two transactions that I did today. So if at any time you want to go back and see that information, just go to your wallet, select the card, and then here you have that. And if you would like to contact your bank at any time, you can press the call button right up there and here in the I, and it'll actually take us into the mobile application for that credit card. A few other things that you can do when you are in the wallet settings is we can organize the list of cards here. So we can drag and drop them into different order. So I can move that up and down. Here I've added my PayPal account. We can also do that with our gifts as well as our membership. So here I have my gym pass. I can move it down to the bottom just like that. Now when you swipe up and you see your favorites list of cards, this can be organized as well. All you need to do is long press and you can move them to the front or the back just like that. Now if you want to go and add any cards to your favorites, you just need to go back into your wallet, find the card that you would like to add, and then up here in the settings you do need to select add to favorites. And that is how you can set up and use Samsung Pay on your supported Samsung phone. If you guys have any further questions about Samsung Pay, please let me know in the comments below. And if you'd like to learn more things that your Galaxy Note 9 can do, make sure you select the playlist over there on the side. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you on the next one.